Okay. Okay, so now we'll go back. We got a script, right? All right, Simon. Get a bottle, or do you have to go back in, or? What's that? It's in the command center at that time. Command center, okay. So we'll be able to send it out to Paul and Dan so they can take a look at what this looks like, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so we'll say hi to Paul and Dan. Hey, Paul. Hi, hi Dan. Paul. Hi, Dan. So this is the, the Blue Jean software with the camera that they recommend hooked up to the TV in the IT room. Uh, what is kind of neat about this is you've got Matt in the Blue Jeans office, and he's on the same system as we do. You can see that the picture quality is really good. The sound is good. Um, you can see me in the corner and Rick next to me. And just we've got the screens laid out so it's overlaid. And uh, then we got Robert, and Robert's got two different views. One uh, where he's looking right at us, and that's the, the same camera and TV. And then he's also working off his computer on the top screen. And he doesn't have, he just has like a, a cheap webcam off his computer. I also run this similar picture quality off an iPhone or iPad. Here's the iPhone. Um, Recording is yeah. on. Ah! Uh oh. We've got two going there at once, but you can see off an iPhone it works pretty good too. If you switch to the iPhone screen, Matt. I can see your iPhone, you're holding it up. Oh, okay, yeah. But you can see us as well, all right? So theoretically, if someone's got a webcam and a computer or a, uh, an iPhone, they can join a conference call. Um, the iPhone picture isn't quite as good as you see in the far right corner, but it's still not bad. Uh, big statement for travel costs and travel time, and the audio looks good. So I don't, that's all I really want to say in the recording. Do you want to say anything, uh, uh, Rick, or...? Um, I guess there's also dial-in number for phone if it yeah. comes right down to it. Yep. Yeah. Um, you can dial in as well. And it all integrates in with Google Air Google Calendars. And you can have right. up to, you can have up to 200 people join these calls. By the way. Wow. Hey, what's events? Events is uh, it's basically kind of a a webcast, kind of a streaming service. So if you wanted to have a, a town hall or an all hands, or you wanted to have like a big company announcement. You could stream your message, whether it's a content presentation, a video, or if you just wanted to get up there and speak, you could actually broadcast that out to up to 15,000 attendees. Oh, yep, it's yeah, actually 25,000 so now. 25,000, yeah. So can you, does that integrate with any of like the latest like OBS software as well too, guys, or is that a curiosity? Uh, is that kind of a marketing? I guess they're like a marketing uh, software component. No, it's just it's more it's more like uh, for streaming services. You see it a lot on uh, Twitch or any of those those ones as well too. But if you're doing like a, a little bit of a town hall meeting, mm -hmm. you can just kind of integrate it in it so everybody's in their own little box with a background and things like that. So you're not just looking at just just the face. You can actually customize it to work with them, especially for a town hall meeting. Interesting. Robert, do you have yeah. a response there? Yeah, and so it, it, does it create like a virtual background or something like that or? Yeah, you can actually create whatever background you want with it. So I've actually seen, I, I've seen a couple of different things, right? So I've seen actually some cameras that do that, that uh, induce like a, a, a screen-esque behind the person that's speaking. For us, what we normally uh, provide is essentially a capability for up to 100 different live video folks who are doing presenting, whether that be content, whether it be video, whether it be audio, whether it be a conglomeration of the three, um, to be able to push that out from geolocation-driven uh, places, um, either in a simultaneous fashion or a staggering fashion out to you know those those 25,000 attendees. I'm kind of a sports guy. I like to contribute. It's kind of like a sporting event, <clears throat> right? Going to American football. Uh, we have a moderator that's going to be essentially managing the flow of the event. Have up to 100 different presenters that are globally distributed. Um, those are going to be the live interactive folks, and then you have 25,000 people on the outside that are watching that receive only content. So we actually work with a company called Akamai, who develops the uh, 
the CDN push, the content delivery network, so that we can have that global presence and global footprint for the distribution. Um, the nice thing about that is the attendees are going to receive it in an HTML5 format, so it's very much like watching a YouTube video. Okay. Your strategic alliances with uh, Facebook and Samsung, Polycom, Dolby, and Microsoft, um, what, you know, what is the alliance with Facebook, I guess, or what is the, I understand Dolby, which is this unit, Polycom, which is the other units we have. Uh, what about Microsoft, Samsung, and Facebook? So, so we, we actually integrate with the Facebook Live piece, so if you wanted to actually, if you have a Facebook page or whatever, you could actually have that, that content stream directly there, so all of your... Uh, your fans or public fan base that follow your Facebook page can actually see that content as well outside your organization. Um, and Facebook's one of our largest customers. They use us end to end. So they spend multi millions with us each year. Um, Microsoft, R Robert, do you have any comment there? Yep, yeah, Microsoft is actually, uh, we're a technology partner with Microsoft, um, specifically within Microsoft Teams. So we provide some features and functionalities both within the Teams environment as well as within the Teams client itself, living either as a uh, bot within Teams client or B, we can live as a, um, a Teams gateway perspective where the room systems basically transcode on our side into the Teams environment. Yeah. It, so it, if it's a SIP or H323 room, we're able to do that transcoding on the back end. Okay. Yeah. So Obviously, Microsoft has some of its own webcasting services. What's interesting is uh, I work with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation directly because they fall into my area of, uh, of territory. And uh, they use our services pretty heavily, too, specifically our events and our Teams Gateway solution. So, I mean, it speaks volumes um, at how robust and uh, uh, savvy the solution is if the Gates Foundation is actually using our services versus their own. That they, you know, and the other right. funny thing is for events specifically, um, so Adobe is one of my customers. And Adobe specifically uses our events platform because of the shortcomings. Mm, uh, mm, many shortcomings isn't such a great phrase. Uh, <laughs> they utilize our events software above what they've produced with their own collaborative tools. Yeah. Okay. I know, that's being recorded. <laughs> Anyway, any other questions that you guys have? Um, is there, a, it would be a good idea in our organization, we've got about uh, 2,000 employees, 20 locations, probably have 25 locations soon. Is there a, like a, a training course or like, you know, where someone could get like a really good five, six hours of instruction, hands-on, understanding how to do the recordings, how to do events, because I, I suspect there's a lot of functionality that, you know, I would even think to ask the questions that's already built into it, and it's always going to change, and you guys are going to continue to make improvements, right? Yeah. So, no, great, great question. So how, how does one become an expert at this? So depending on, you know, with the service, with the licensing model that we have, there you, you can get a dedicated onboarding team if you were to actually roll this out to a lot of different employees that you have. Um, yeah. So not, not only do they help with, the, with that piece of it, of, of rolling it out and implementing it, but you also get a dedicated customer success manager that can actually work with those teams and those individuals and do hands-on training and meet with them around their schedules to do a, an actual training, walk through the application, and that's no extra cost. That's included in the service. Um, and we can even work with your, uh, with your IT team, Rick and their team, to actually build on um, some materials that they can uh, uh, pass along internally that kind of has some quick, easy step methods on how to join, how to schedule, how to do those basic functionalities that, uh, that are there. Um, and if I'm missing anything else, Robert, I know we've got some um, um, a real-time support team that they can reach out to if they have any questions. On yeah, yeah. Our, our onboarding team is second to none. And the reason why I say that is they really are about adoption training and ensuring that you're getting the most out of the platform that you can. Yeah, yeah. how I would envision that work, and I'll talk to Rick about this some more, is we'd probably want our field IT guys to be very familiar with it to start off with, and then our, uh, our four executives 
also at the top, kind of, uh, because they're probably going to use it the most, uh, and a couple of our department heads, and get them very familiar with it so that they can do their meetings uh, all the time, right? Yeah. So, and that's no problem. Perfect. Yeah. I think the basics, the uh, meetings is yeah. create, create, a, <laughs> create yeah. a meeting in, in Google Calendar and, you know, yeah. choose the device. Yeah. And it's pretty easy. Yeah, no, um, no, it is, but you know, you know what's yeah. you know what's going to happen though, Rick, because someone's going to say, well, how do I record? And then we're going to go through all yeah, that, yeah, and then they're going to say, I want to have, I want to have five <laughs> dealerships on it, and I want to send this out, and uh, it's not working yeah. on my iPad, it's not working on my iPhone, you know, all that sort of stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah, good point. All right. So, uh, and it's a great yeah. like, and look, we don't, we understand that um, a lot of other services, service providers out there that you know offer a, a similar type service. Typically, all of that work falls on your team. The differentiator between us is it doesn't have to. If, if, if someone has a question and Rick can't answer it, um, or if he doesn't have time to deal with it, they can reach out to us directly. We schedule a one-off time with them. As many yeah. people could walk in this conference room like you're in now, and they could do a one-off, one-hour session if they needed to, or however long they yeah. needed to do it. You know? Yeah, okay. All right, um, uh, that's all I got. I, um... That's all I got. Thanks a lot, guys. Really, hey, uh, really appreciate you uh, spending the time and showing me this. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah, well, very well. Thank, thank you for your time. Oh, you file this, okay? yeah, yeah, okay. I do. All right, okay, thanks. See you in the next Thanks. All right, buddy. Excellent. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, all. Thanks. Appreciate the time. Bye now. Yeah. Right.